Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to a Football Player video. Today's video, we're going to continue in the fashion that we have in the last couple of videos, which is looking at some of the top picks from the 2020 NFL Draft. In the previous video, we looked at the second pick, Chase Young. What an absolute beast from Ohio State. Went through his whole college career as a, you know, basically a touted first round pick. Broke a shitload of records, won a shitload of awards, and he went second pick to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, today, we're focusing on pick number three. And something I completely forgot, but I'm happy to find out once again, is that Jeff Okuda, the third pick of the 2020 NFL Draft, went to Ohio State. And with that being said, I reckon it's about time we bust this out. So, my friends, the second and third pick from the 2020 NFL Draft were from Ohio State, which is music to my ears so guys today's reaction is going to be on jeff okuda jeff okuda i have not watched one bit i've not watched him speak have i watched him speak i don't think i have i've seen him at the combine i've seen him in the draft and now it's time to not only read his story but also look at his highlights in college and i want to get through my favorite players from the first round of the nfl draft before the season starts. That's the mission. Today's date is the 30th of May. Let's crack into it. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. So the two websites I'm using throughout this reaction series is Pro Football Reference and Wikipedia. So if we look at Pro Football Reference first, Jeff Okuda's profile reads, six foot one, 205 pounds, or in metric terms, 185 centimeters and 92 kg. So he's exactly the same height as me and pretty much the exact same weight. Born February 2nd, 1999, but he's eight years younger. College, Ohio State, and he got drafted in the first round with the third overall pick to the Detroit Lions. So, you know, this guy is, a, is an athlete. I think when I saw him do the cornerback drills at the combine, I said he, he looks like a, an antelope. Um, I said he, he basically bounds. He doesn't take steps. He, he, he hovers. He's so, he's so bouncy. He's so like springy and, and slight and fast that he would make an incredible cornerback. And he clearly does. At the combine, he ran a 448 40-yard dash. Got 11 reps on the bench press with 225 pounds, which is 102 kilograms. He got 135 inches on the broad jump, which had to be one of the best of the day, and is a total of 11 feet 3 inches. That is, that, that's actually absolutely ridiculous. That's like a kangaroo. Uh, did you know that a kangaroo, right, a 2 meter high kangaroo, can bounce from one side of the road to the other with a two lane road? We're talking at least 8, 10 meters. A kangaroo can, can jump that in one go. 10 meters! Can you imagine seeing that? That would be just about as amazing as Jeff Okuda. He's got a 41 inch vertical jump, which is definitely elite. And with that being said, let's go to his Wikipedia. Jeffrey Okuda, born February 2nd, 1999. He is 21 years old. As I said, 6 foot 1, 205 pounds. He went to South Grand Prairie High School in Texas and went to Ohio State. And now, the most exciting part of it all, is he's been drafted to the Lions. So Jeffrey Okuda certainly doesn't have as in depth of a profile here than that of Chase Young did, but we're going to read it anyway. High school career. Okuda, is, Okuda ascended South Grand Prairie High School in Grand Prairie, Texas. A five-star recruit, he committed to Ohio State University to play college football. As a true freshman at Ohio State in 2017, Okuda played in all 14 games and had 17 tackles. As a sophomore in 2018, he played in 13 games, recording 32 tackles. As a junior in 2019, he recorded his first career interception against the Miami Red Hawks. Well, that would have felt good. As a junior in 2019, Okuda had 34 tackles, 9 passes defensed, and 3 interceptions. For his performance that season, he was unanimously named to the 2019 College Football All-American team, as well as named a finalist for the Jim Thorpe Award, which is, I'm assuming, the best cornerback in the nation? The Jim Thorpe Award, named in memory of multi-sport athlete Jim Thorpe, he was a legend, has been awarded to the top defensive back in college football since 1986. Okuda decided to forego his senior year by declaring for the 2020 NFL Draft, where he is considered to be the best 
cornerback prospect. And there were no surprises there. He went to the combine. He ran the combine, even though he probably didn't have to. But I mean, with these kind of numbers, you want to show them off, right? They're, in, they're, they're etched in history, guys. This is, this is it. 448, 41 inch vertical, 11 foot 3 inch broad jump. Boom. Those are your stats, buddy. And what stats they are. So that's all we can find on Jeff Akuda's Wikipedia page. Now I want to go down here and see what the latest news stories are. I think we've got, we've got two news stories here that I want to have a look at. The first one was published two weeks ago, three weeks ago, nearly, on the 12th of May. And it's at deep, oh, no. Um, well, that didn't work. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Detroit Lions, the top three matchups to look forward to in 2020. Some games on the schedule should still leave this fan base tuning in to check out the Honolulu Blue as they take on different opponents this season. The Honolulu Blue. What is Honolulu Blue? The shade of blue used for the Lions uniform and logos is officially known as the Honolulu Blue. I see. The team has a healthy Matthew Stafford, a new running back in DeAndre Swift, and some defensive players like Jeffrey Okuda. Let's see if Okuda's name is mentioned here. No, it's not. It was just in that first piece. Okay, so the second news story I want to look at is sideline report. Is sideline report, sorry. A play on words there. Detroit Lions secondary concerns a thing of the past, question mark. For the Detroit Lions, their secondary has been an era of concern, but after an overhaul this offseason, are those concerns now a thing of the past? For years, one of the biggest areas of concern for the Detroit Lions was their secondary. Specifically, who was starting opposite Pro Bowl cornerback Darius Slay? Right, so they needed another cornerback. Another star cornerback, and it seems like they might have got it. Last year's answer was free agent Rashan Melvin. The veteran cornerback started 12 games for the Motor City in 2019, but he's now playing for the Jaguars. But the Lions eliminated that question entirely when they decided to trade the 21-year-old Slay, the 29-year-old Slay, to the Philadelphia Eagles, following his third straight Pro Bowl bid. The veteran, wanting a new contract, inked a three-year, 50.5 million extension with Philly. I didn't actually know that. In exchange for Slay. So they definitely needed a cornerback then, That's, that makes sense. In exchange for Slay, the Lions got two draft picks and a more pressing need to secure their secondary this offseason. Those two selections resulted in Ohio State guard Jonah Jackson after a trade and Wisconsin wide receiver Quintez Cephas. As for how the Lions addressed their biggest positional need, Detroit used their most valuable draft selection. With the third overall pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Motown made Ohio State cornerback Jeff Okuda their choice. The top rated secondary player in his class, Okuda comes to Detroit as a day one starter, which is exciting, and as the anointed replacement for Slay, which is also very exciting. As for the question who will start opposite of Okuda, the Lions signed another former first rounder for that role, and it was the 22nd overall selection in the 2013 draft, cornerback Desmond Trufant, after spending his first seven seasons with the Falcons. He was a pro bowler in 2015 and is still just 29 years old. That's pretty exciting for Lions fans, I must admit. But as you guys know, I'm more of a fan of the offensive side of the ball. Although, as time goes on, I'm definitely finding out that the game of football is really... It doesn't matter what position you are. It's a game of one-on-ones. It's a game of small games within the big game. You know, if you're a cornerback, you're going to go against your wide receiver the whole entire game. It's going to be you against him. Battling. Back and forth. Almost like a chess match. The coaches are doing it. You know, the running back and the linebackers are doing it. The, the, the quarterback and the... Well, quarterback and the linebacker. Quarterback and the defensive end is doing it. There's all these matchups all over the field. And, and I guess it's going to be really interesting seeing how Akuda goes against some of these best wide receivers with the best footwork, the fastest, the biggest. You know what I mean? Akuda's what? Six foot one. So there's definitely going to be receivers taller than him. But there's definitely going to be receivers shorter than him too. But with all that being said, guys, I think that's enough of a look at me old mate Jeff Okuda. Okay, so to finish this off, I do want to find his stats for his uh, college career. Then following that, we're going to shut this video off and I'm going to come back to you and react to his highlights. That's what we're going to do. That's the, that's the way that this series is going to work. I'm going to do a first video looking at their, their stats and their story as much as I can. A few news stories, whatever I want to look at. After that, we're going to look at his highlights in the following video. So with that being said, let me find his stats. Ohio State stats. Jeffrey Okuda college football stats. Sweet! Here we are. We've got 9 games as a freshman, 13 games as a sophomore, and 13 games as a junior. 
for a total of 35 games, 64 solo tackles, 19 assisted tackles for a total of 83 tackles. One tackle for loss, which is interesting. I thought it might be a bit more than that. Actually, no, come to think of it, usually a cornerback is going to be tackling a receiver who's going to have run forward. So for it to be a tackle for loss, they're going to have to push them back behind the line of scrimmage, which is not going to be easy. Okay. And for that to happen, probably would have had to be a flat throw out to the left. Akuda sees it happening. He comes in, crunches the guy just as he catches the ball and doesn't allow him any space to move. We might see that, you know. He had three interceptions in his final year. Thank God. Imagine going through his whole college career with no interceptions. So he got three. He had 18 passes defended, two fumble recoveries, and one forced fumble. So once again, 64 solo tackles, 19 assisted for a total of 83. 83 tackles in 35 games is about two and a half per game. Three interceptions, 35 games, that's one every 11. 18 passes deflected, 35 games, that's one every two games. Two fumble recoveries, that's one every 17 games. And one forced fumble, that's one every 35 games. So Jeff Akuda, what a fucking legend. And I guess, I guess guys, that if the Lions didn't need specifically a cornerback, then Jeff may have gone pick number 9, pick number 10. Whatever team in that first round needed a cornerback, he was going to get picked up. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. This is the second player from the draft that I'm doing a special on. In the next video, we'll get to the fun part, which is reacting to his highlights. And I've got a couple of videos saved here. We've got a video by Sick Edits, which is the same channel that made the Chase Young highlight clip that we reacted to. We do have a fair few more here, but I think it's going to be the safest option to go with Sick Edits. So we'll do that in the next video. And I'll see you then. Have a great night and peace out.